This question's about a sector of a circle. We're told the radius, we're told the angle at the centre, and we're asked to calculate the area of this sector. Now remember we're in paper one where we're not allowed to use calculators, so we must use the value they've given us for pi, which is 3.14. Now the basic formula that we'll be using is the area of a circle. And we know that's pi r squared. So the question now is, what fraction of this circle are we dealing with? And that's contained in the angle at the centre, which is 45 degrees. There are various ways of going about working out what fraction of the circle is. The basic one is to say, well, it's 45 degrees compared to the whole circle, which is 360 degrees. And we're left with the task of trying to simplify 45 over 360. I suppose five nines are 45, and nine also goes into 360 because four nines are 36, so that would be 40 times nine. And we can divide top and bottom by nine, so we get five fortieths. But there again, five is a factor that's common to top and bottom. Five into five goes once, five into 40 goes eight. So we end up with one eighth. There are other ways of getting there. If you think two forty fives make up ninety degrees, and then there's four lots of ninety degrees in a complete circle. So you can see there'll be eight sectors exactly the same size as the one we're dealing with up here, A B C. So there's another way of thinking about one eighth. Anyway, we're asked to calculate the area of the sector, so let's get going with that. Area of the sector equals one eighth for any of these reasons down here of pi r squared. So that's an eighth times pi. Now the radius is 20. So 20 times 20. Remember to multiply these. Remember it's not uh, it's not a paper where we can use the calculator so we have to do this somehow without the calculator. Remember these fractions multiplied. You multiply the top numbers together, you multiply the bottom numbers together. So 1 times pi times 20 times 20 on the top of the fraction on the bottom of the fraction, 8 times 1 times 1 times 1. That's just 8. And there is a bit of cancelling. Um, 4 goes into 8 twice, and 4 goes into 20 five times. We've still got a factor of 2 left. 2 into 2 goes 1. 2 into 20 goes 10. So we're left on the top line with 5 times 10, which is 50 times and we're told to use, it's just approximate, but we're told to use the value of pi 3.14. So we're left with another calculation. How do we work out 50 times 3.14? Various ways of doing that. One of them is to think, well, that's 5 times 10 times 3.14 which is 5 times, well, 10 times 3.14, 31.4, and then we work out 5 times this. How do we do that? Various ways of thinking about it without a calculator. A lot of you will write it out like this. 5 4s are 20, 5 1s are 5, and the 2 is 7, 5 3s are 15, we get 157. Point zero. Another way of thinking about that is 5 is 10 divided by 2. 
So we could multiply the 31.4 by 10, that's 314, divide it by 2. That's 2 into the 31 goes 15, and 1 over 2 into the 14 is 7. There's your 157 again. The other way is to think of 50 as 100 divided by 2, but like this last method we used, and multiply the 3.14 by 100 to get 314 divided by 2, which we've done over here is 157. So all sorts of ways of getting to the answer, which is 157. Now we're asked to calculate the area of the sector. It's important that we use the right units. Area is always measured in little squares. This radius is in centimetres, so there'll be square centimetres. So the area of that sector is approximately 157 square centimetres. Thank you.